Mike Macy from Indianapolis. I have really enjoyed reading your annual letters and your annual report, and I've gone back and read all the older ones, too. They're, they're terrific. I have also enjoyed reading the two books by Peter Lynch. And I see a lot of commonalities between the two of you, the way you think, your philosophy, etc. I'd certainly appreciate it if you'd make a few comments on what you think of Peter Lynch, the things he says in his two books, and the advice that he gives to investors. Thank well, you. I know Peter, I don't know him well, but I, but I, we played bridge together in Omaha, as a matter of fact. And I, I, I like him personally, and I, obviously he has an outstanding record, and he has written those two books which have been bestsellers about his investment philosophy. I don't really have anything, I, you know, I'm not going to embroider on his. We ha there is a, there, there's, there's certainly a fair amount of overlap. There's some difference. Peter obviously likes to diversify a lot more than, than I do. I mean, he, he, he owns more stocks than the names of companies I can remember. I mean, but, but that's Peter. And I, uh, you know, I, uh, I've said in, in investing in the past that there's more than one way to get to heaven. And that, that there, there isn't a true religion in this, but there's some very useful religions. And uh, Peter's got one, and I think that we've got one that's useful too. And there is a lot of overlap. But I would not do as well if I tried to do it the way Peter does it, and he probably wouldn't do as well if he tried to do it exactly the way I do it. I like him personally very much. He's a high-grade guy. 1989, I'm at home, and the phone rings, and I thought it was one of my friends, but one of my daughters, who's six-year-old, Andy picked up and said, Chief Kiss, there's a Mr. Buffett on the line? I said, this has got to be a joke. So I pick it up, and this, this Warren Buffett, I'm from Omaha, Nebraska, you know, I read your book, my end report's doing two weeks, can I use the line? He said it all in about seven seconds. <laughs> and I said, that's great, I'd love to do it. What, you know, what's the line? He said, I love this. It's been waiting for years. When you sell your great companies and add to the losers, it's like water in the weeds and cutting the flowers. He said, I want to put it in. He said, if you ever come to Nebraska, you don't call me. You nailed me mud all over Nebraska. So did he call him? Oh, yeah. I've said several times we played bridge together. We've had several meetings. Great guy.